YouTube. My name is Sean Connors and welcome back to The Outsiders. And this video is all about DM's tips number two, the dice. Now there are two schools of camp with dice as DM's. You either roll them openly like I do or you hide them behind the screen. Now I did at the very beginning of my DMing career, I did hide them behind the screen. Um, until a series of strange events happened where I was in a game where I was rolling some dice and it just, it was a and d game, second edition, and I had an incredible run of 20s come up one after the other. And within a couple of those happening, I was fudging the dice, which is what you would do to protect your players without thinking. You just start fudging that. Um, and after the game, I felt like I'd shortchanged the whole experience for the players and myself, and I realised that I couldn't carry on like this. This was ridiculous. I, I had to do something about it. And it was obvious what needed to be done. I took the dice from behind the screen and moved them in front. Now what I noticed happened immediately as soon as I did this was that the attentiveness around the room and the excitement level massively raised. Any time the dice are rolled, everybody's interested to see what happens. And that is fantastic. It, it's such an immersive quality that this brings to your table. And equally, it's enlightening for the DM. And it, it almost protects you in a way because it is what it is. If you get a series of run of D20s, and anybody that knows me player-wise knows that I get very streaky, um, I have had this happen a few times. The odds are incredible, but I've had it happen twice in my lifetime where I've rolled five D20s and natural 20s in a row, which is enough to um, give any player and this group of players an absolute nightmare. But it happens, and my players are used to that. And equally, there are times when I could fall out of a rowing boat and not hit water. So these are the dice gods. You know, it is what it is, and players accept it but it brings a fantastic quality to your games. So if you've not done it before, seriously consider doing it. Seriously consider doing it. Now, if you're worried that there's no control anymore, I've got no control, well, there is a few techniques that you can use. Now, I have got a secret video all about dice, so I'm not going to reveal that tip here, but if you want to see more about how to do it, I will happily do that if you've not been involved in it, then all you need to do is just leave a comment here. Give me a thumbs up, of course, that would be nice, and let me know you're interested in seeing the secret video, and I will send you the link as well. But I'm going to give you a prelude tip that leads up to it, something that a very wise man once taught me. Now, I'm just going to grab some dice out of the box, not for any particular reason, really, but I'm just going to hold a few of them up. Now, all these dice are slightly different. I've got a couple of wooden ones here. I've got a couple of traditional dice there. I don't think you're going to see it very well, but I think that, that does the job. And what you notice is over a, a period of time, all the ends, you know, we all have dice. They buffer about in the box. And um, actually some of them, odds mathematically, they're not all cut very well either, are they? Some dice from certain manufacturers are not cut perfect. And so what you find is as you get used to your dice, some of them are actually luckier than others. It's a fact, because they're not all cut the same, they're not all perfectly cut. If they were, the numbers would always automatically come out any number from 1 to 20 every time. But that's not the case. So if you get used to what dice you have in your box, it's pretty easy when you think, damn, I need to give that player an edge. Roll a dice that you believe is going to likely give them that edge. It gives you a little bit of controls. No guarantees it won't come up the wrong way, but it just gives you another chance. And I share, you, I share this tip with you because, again, it's not cheating the player out of the experience, far from it. All it's doing, in essence, is giving that player maybe a chance. But you know the dice gods. They can be equally very, very cruel. So anyway, that's really been a simple tip all about dice, about taking them from behind the screen, having the confidence and the belief, about bringing them out into the open, and the power that it does, and the immersion quality that it brings to your table cannot be expressed enough until you've done it. Have no fear over it and believe in yourself and uh, you will find that your games will take another leap up as the atmosphere intensifies and your players get very excited around every single role that they do. Everything has meaning. And also I'd like to end this on another thing that will often come out as a comment on these type of programs about do you do this with everything? Yes I do. I do it with everything, even hide rolls, everything. I don't have any qualms about it because I think it's exciting. And I also think it's exciting to set the number openly. I don't think it does any harm. You need 15 to hit. And they can then role play that experience of what it's like to hit that person knowing the number. Sure, you know, they can maybe manipulate, but if you're clever at DM, you can work around those issues. But it's just more exciting. It brings that level in, the immersion level into the game. And I really like it. So anyway, I've been Sean Connors, sharing some tips around the dice. 
I hope you've enjoyed this programme and I look forward to seeing you next time on DM's Tips in a week from today. Take care of yourselves and happy gaming. Bye-bye. Thank you.